This takes me to my next question. Um, did you and Mom ever, ever want a, a, another child? Well, I suppose all parents wondered how things would have changed if they had a different child. No, I didn't, didn't mean a different one. I, I, I mean an additional one. Why do you ask? Well, because if you'd had another kid, maybe, maybe he'd have taken over the business and, and you wouldn't have had to sell. I always, I always felt kind of bad that I didn't. The answer is no, Phil, never. Because, well, you did take over the family business, didn't you? Keeping life light, making it fun for everybody. I learned from the best. <laughs> when I was growing up, he was the cool dad. He was hip. He knew all the dances from Greece. He knew all the expressions. BFF, best friends forever. TMI, too much information. BJ, blue jeans. It makes me feel lucky. We didn't do much that day, but it, it might have been one of the, the best days I ever had with my dad. I just didn't know it would be the last. My dad was OK. And my takeaway from our day, don't miss a chance to let the people you appreciate know that. Drake, sit down. No! Drake. Josh, what? Look, I'm sorry. Well, look, let me finish, OK? I, I was wrong, OK? I was wrong. What do you mean? I, I need you more than you need me. I need you way more than you need me, all right? I I'm sorry. Man, man, I'm sorry I made you late for your exam, and I'm sorry I ran over your bike, and I I'm, I'm sorry I'm probably the worst brother in the world, and, you know, you're way better off without me, you know? I just, I just need you to understand that uh, you, I just... Sorry, Josh, I'm sorry. Josh, would you like to go talk to Drake? No. No, sir. <laughs> Well, that's the story. The story of a cat with a broken heart. Too bad everybody doesn't have a girl like mine. A girl that loves me and only me. With every bit of her true blue, ever-loving heart. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, Will. You know what, actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, it's all right to be angry. Hey, well, why should I be mad? I'm saying at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I'm, I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I... Hey, could you know do... what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him. Right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. To hell with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man?